Welcome back to Nintages. How's it going? We're here for an impromptu recording session. Um, I didn't have much time to prepare for this, and with the with where it was placed, I wasn't able to do a live reaction. So this is this is not live, but I decided to record one anyway, just in case I'm thoroughly blown away by what we see. So basically, anyone watching this right now, you know more than I do, unless you haven't watched it yet. In which case, get some get get some snacks, and we'll and we'll enjoy this together. Um, it's a whopping. 50 minute presentation ish. I don't know what the final runtime wound up being, but it's a uh, says right there roughly 50 minutes. Um, so it's it's going to be a long one. Um, I, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be terribly interested in watching 50 minutes of reactions, but I figured I'd do it anyway, just in case there's any any real good ones in there. Um, my expectations are pretty neutral. Um, at this point, we've been through a lot of good directs and a lot of bad directs, so I can only hope that it's more on the good half than the bad half, more or less. Um, I, I, I want to see some surprises. I, I want to see some stuff that no one saw coming. I think that would be fun. Um, I don't have my hopes up too high on, on anything else. Um, I, I think, I think we can just jump right into this. Like I said, since this isn't live, um... We don't have to wait for it to start. We can start whenever we want. So, uh, let's do it. And like I said, this is this is gonna be a long one. So, so get comfortable. Um, and if you stick through this for even half of it with me, that's highly appreciated. Hopefully, the volume will be all right. Um, like I said, I uh, it's been a long time since we've done a reaction video. I think I saw somewhere that it's been over 500 days since the last traditional Nintendo Direct. Um, and I didn't do reactions for any of the mini directs or anything like that. So I didn't have any of this set up any, like, anymore because I got a new computer since then. So I had to set it up real quick. Um, I'm a little worried that, that volume won't be great, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Ho hopefully it'll turn out all right. And hopefully I got close enough to the beginning here. Yeah, it looks like it. We got a couple seconds. Like I said, I don't know anything about what we're about to see. I think I saw one thumbnail on Nintendo because when I was... Or on YouTube. Because when I was doing a quick audio test with the beginning of this, it popped up at the bottom with, like, recommended videos. And I think there was one in there that... It could have been a fan thing, but I think it might have been a legit announcement. Thankfully, it's not one I'm too surprised by if it is real. So it's okay. I do imagine we're going to start with Smash Brothers. That's predictable. Are they actually putting a Xenoblade 2 character in? What, is Rex all sad because he can't One be in day, it? Pyra just disappeared. Oh, they put Pyra in it? They should put her in it. I love her design. She's super cool. Based on the absolute nothing I know about this game. I should play it at some, time, at some point. It looks like a game I would enjoy. I couldn't find it anywhere. This is a very elaborate trailer. I do miss... I was thinking this when I was getting ready to, to, to do this reaction. If this is even Smash, I, I, I expect it is, but... I, uh, I miss the fake-out trailers. They don't really do those anymore. Where they start the trailer and just lead you to believe that it's something entirely different. They used to do those a lot, and those were super cool. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... Because you weren't invited. I got an invitation to join Smash. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Yep, Just poor sit Rex. Back and leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power of the Aegis. It's another sword fight. <laughs> I can see people now. It looks cool though. Genius! You're pretty much owning them! And these are seasoned fighters! 
There are no pushovers! <laughs> Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. This is a really cool trailer. Mithra! Couldn't have She's grown, a cool huh? design too. Hey, were these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kinda of bad now. Coming through! Lightning faster! Susanne! Is she a completely different character? Foresight! Whoa! You can even use that! They both look really cool. I, I can see people freaking out about, uh... Oh, so it's a transformation character. Interesting. What's the Rex me? It looks so weird. I can see people complaining about more anime sword fighters, but at the same time, people kept saying they wanted to see a Xenoblade 2 character. Um, and I f honestly feel like those are more interesting picks than than Rex would have been, honestly. Just visually. Because I don't really know anything about the actual characters, but We're fighters too! I think that I think it ticks the the same box that Sephiroth did, where it's like, is it a character that I'm like that I wanted to see? Not necessarily, but like it they just they look they look cool. They look like cool Smash Brothers characters. Hello, and everyone. It's been a while. I can't complain about that. I'm Shinya really. Takahashi from Nintendo. It's better than another Steve. <laughs> Let me Last put it that year, way. Yes, yeah, I'm still salty some news about that a series one. of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I feel like it's been since E3. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct ago? with you all today. It's been a while. I think the last reaction I did continued support. was two E3s ago, when they revealed Banjo-Kazooie. I think. Okay, what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. That's also cool because it's not a third-party character, and I'm seriously sick of third-party characters. Even though there's a couple characters that are third parties that I'd still like to see, that I think would be cool characters, I'm also like, man, get some Nintendo stuff in there. Now, it's second party, so it's just a bit still not like really Nintendo, but split the, split the difference. Split the difference. I think they look pretty cool. Hey, Fall Guys is coming to Switch, neat. That might get me back into it, honestly. Because I have a feeling there will be more people to play with. It's a good trailer, too. It's cute and clever. But I know a lot of people were kind of waiting for it to come to Switch, so I think Stumble toward that'll when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system. That'll create a better streaming environment for it, perhaps. Summer those a little ways off though. It's a little rough. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. But I guess it's almost March already, so venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 this minutes. Looks kinda neat. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. So it's one of those timed roguelikes. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. 
Yeah, this, this looks kind of neat. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds... I feel like I've heard Switch of that game. Summer 2021. But I might be thinking of Put other worlds. Skills to the Isn't test that a game in too? two classic murder mystery games. So many games. Like, how do you even keep track Famicom of all this Detective stuff? Club, the missing that's like that's my job, Famicom right? Detective I still have a hard time keeping track stands of behind. everything. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Localized I don't even know in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama. And twists and turns await. I'm sure that there's a corner. niche audience that's super excited about You'll this. You'll be on right the now, edge though, of your seat as cool. you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. I'm also glad in that one game you'll solve a complex I murder said about case how surrounding a wealthy family in a lot of village I love the animation. Amnesia. Like they but put that's a lot of effort the into only that. Case to crack. I uh, I mentioned that like we've seen a lot of good directs and a lot of bad directs, so I feel like I've been getting kind of jaded. In regards to like being excited about in the other them, game, and... you'll investigate a supernatural room on... after a mysterious other death hand, to free students from a sinister nightmare. I feel like interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these five six conundrums. years ago. I have a different a out different the outlook on these than I did late. back then. Now I'm able to look at something like this, and I'm like, six years ago I would have been like, who cares? I don't care about this. This is boring. She's boring. Next. Except now. Uncover the now I have a different Famicom viewpoint Club, of like, well, this air. isn't for me, but Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. there's someone out there who's Coming super excited Switch, about this. May 14th. And that's cool. Begin today on Nintendo e -shop. And I'm kind of glad that I've reached that point. A new age of battles begins. It doesn't help me get excited, but it helps me appreciate them more, which I like. This looks fire emblem -y. Until everything catches on fire, and then it looks a little less fire emblem-y. No, this still looks fire emblem-y. <laughs> oh no, it's, uh... Warriors. God, they make these things so fast, dude. Or is it more specifically Nobunaga's... No, it's Samurai Warriors. They make these things so fast. I should check out a mainstream, like a mainline the latest Warriors. Entry in the Samurai Warriors entry. franchise is I've only played the spin-offs. Dive into the history of the Sengoku. And I really like them. As the series so. now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves Ooh. in electrifying Hard one versus one thousand battles. In Samurai Warriors 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Maybe I should check that out. The vast world of Fadio yes. beckons. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring remastered oh. HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. Didn't they already release all of these? You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Or am I crazy? Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Or is life. that a different mana game, I guess? It's up to you on when and where to place Square's going pretty hard on, as well as how on to this series the story. lately, which is pretty cool. Again, it's one that I don't know Join much about. With um, it looks, each it looks on their nice. Own I like how the characters are still Square like the original. Sp I don't know if those are the original sprites. I would assume they are. Or take um, a break from adventure. And but rest that they all. redid the backgrounds all hand drawn. The music has it's been rearranged. Very interesting version, and you can alternate between the new arrangements. Very and interesting the design soundtrack. choice, and it looks Other it looks features nice. Have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new mini game Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Wait. Switch. How many June Mana 24th. games are there? I thought there was just the three. Oh, this is a monster hunter. New monsters, probably. There's a couple new ones in there. Not new ones, but ones that we didn't know were in this yet. What is that thing? That, that's super cool. I really want to see more bugs. 
There aren't many. I think we knew Basarios was going to be in it because his armor was in the demo. He's like all fiery now, though. So hold it on that. Yeah, this is going to be super hype. Now, Mudron. It looks pretty neat. More mud monsters is a pretty interesting idea. There's only like two of those. Elder, cool. I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? That's that's our a kid. Hunter's about to face the <laughs> a, it's a giant bogon on her back. But that was a kid. No! We can't lose this game. Pull yourselves together. You're not getting it. Let's go, everyone. How do I get that attack? That that charge blade. Oh God damn, where Zhang's in it. I mean, I, I guess I'm not that surprised. Watch out for the monster. Um, that charge blade user did like some crazy attack the that rampage. I don't know how, how do you think it's I wasn't able to do that in the demo. <laughs> and that was part of my problem with charge blade in the demo is I felt like it didn't have anything like flashy and fun enough. That's what you know, made me start, start considering other right weapons away. instead. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity. Yeah, we're about a month away from it. About a month and a week. Oh, is that actually going to come to America? I kind of want to get one of those. That was the latest it looks pretty slick, and my pro controller's Capcom. starting to have like some drifting issues because it's starting to get How not old, but against these I've put in like monsters. thousands of hours of gameplay. Stay tuned on that thing. for the latest installment in the Monster so Hunter I, I series. So I feel like I could potentially use. But yeah, that move. I don't know how. How do you do that? Next. Please take a look at this. Anyway, I might like to pick one of those up. It's about time. The fairway is open once again. It's about time. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series. We've been saying Coming for like Nintendo two Switch. years that Starting where's the next the Mario terrain. Golf? Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Eno's going to be excited about this one. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. I love the I love that they took the tennis approach too and gave them the breeze, like golf attire. Like a shot gauge to see how it's a your fun shot bit will of, curve due fun to bit of unnecessary polish, but like that's what Nintendo does, baby. Terrain. Like that's that's the These that's the fun. Can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. <laughs> I remember trying to play motion golf on Wii Sports, and oh man, game. did I hate it. Letting you easily enjoy the Wanted to like it, but I just, I just couldn't get into it. On top of all that, what, you have there to are run? several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to what Mario on Earth? Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time. <laughs> what? Then you'll race through the course that sounds to crazy. reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. Then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come and out on top. And you can mess with each other. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. It sounds kind of awful, but like. Oh, did we mention story, oh, story mode? modes back? As a Yo, character, people are gonna lose their damn minds. You'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills. While this is what tennis needed. I really liked tennis aces, but it was like so lacking in content. And then it's like, yeah, this is it. Like, this is what we needed. Allowing you to develop your character. I've never been that into the Mario golf games before, but like, this is pretty hype. Versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. I'm probably gonna want to get that. That looks cool. It looks really pretty too. I like how it's um, especially with the Mario games. multiplayer modes. They have this well way of like golf gameplay with easy to learn control. Striking the balance between HD like 
realism, but it, it's, it's still like cartoony and like soft, right? Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch If it looked headlines. like super realistic, it would almost look kind of off-putting. But check out these games coming to I like how they Switch. strike the balance. It's very detailed, but it's still it's still soft Return and, to the unforgiving world and of colorful. Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five this episodes is so... filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, this is like such a ma maybe like condescending thing to say. Does anyone actually care about Borderlands adventure. still? Embark I saw that they're making a Borderlands movie, and Borderlands I was like, launches on Nintendo Switch is it really a big... Do people really care about it that much? 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. I think we knew about this, Get 1943 we? The Battle of Midway for free. Or maybe it was rumored. Purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. I don't think I knew Strider was an arcade title. Brains. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of it. Stubs the zombie game in Aspire, Rebel without a pulse? Horde what and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal, sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. What? This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Why does he have a jetpack? And a Nintendo hover tank. Shop. What am I looking at? <laughs> It's Ooh. Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? I was gonna say, that doesn't say Assassins. Aliens have invaded Earth. This Hold is up. what? Is this three, even the right, right? game? I anyway, should check these games out, too. After annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken Never over. Never played any of them. Don't know anything about them. Just know that people love them. Tournament to decide Earth's fate. <laughs> Here we go. As the crass, beam katana-wielding assassin... And I know the first two are on Switch, and I think they're like 20 bucks each, to the top to save the quite world. affordable. Hey, 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 not so fast. For, to for enter each boss fight, you'll have to wink, do some wink, odd hint, jobs hint. around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. This game is just all the over new the place. And improved isn't it? Death Glove. You'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. It was legit like the No, we're an RPG now. State. So get no, ready we're a racing some, game uh, now. It's like, okay, what? Have that you can kick. Are all three of the games like anyway, that? Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. I do or, imagine you know, that Nintendo it's the type Switch, of brand August that 27th. you just play it and it just makes sense. That seems Exterminate accurate. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Oh, no, this is first person shooter. It looks interesting, but I can tell right away it's not the game for me. We just had a conversation on stream Let's last night. Be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. About. There's only a couple of genres that I just really don't care for anymore. Guns One judgment. is deck builders. Nothing to do and with two it. is first person shooters. So this like combines two things that I don't really care about anymore. Um, it looks interesting though. Like it doesn't look bad. It just looks like I probably Uncover won't Heaven's it. Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. AKA is it? Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. Is this like a cartoon? This is Supergirl. She's like, super strong. Is this based on a cartoon? Plus, super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman. This is very An unfamiliar. To me. Like, I know who the characters are, but I'm like. What's Along the style, with our friends, dude? Green Lantern, I mean, it's Zatana, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. To keep our city safe, but we're not just about unexpected. Right. We also have our school unexpected. guides, and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. 
Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Super And I kind of wish I knew what the origin was, because, and, 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 like... I'm curious to know. It, it looks like they were really trying to make it look like an animated cartoon, and I feel like they did a good job of that. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically sourced onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. I had no idea that that was a thing. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Oh, right. I remember hearing about this at some point. It's like... Is it a multiplayer? Like, is it like a competitive multiplayer game, or is it a, a co-op game? It kind of looks like you're still fighting waves of enemies, right? Looks like it could be neat, neat-ish. Some of the enemy designs are really, really sharp, which they always have been in Plants vs. Zombies. I'm not terribly surprised by that, but... Like the corn stalk guy with the... Like, pulling the ears of corn out to reload his gun. That's, that's really... That's sharp and smart. It's good stuff. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. What, Metopia 2? Band together on a quest oh, it's just the original one? You know what? I'd like to play that. I always Nintendo wanted to play it, to but when it came out... Cast me characters in various um, I was already over my 3DS when it came out, so I just never bothered. Turn your but favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious I remember Dark thinking, Lord. like, that looks kind of funnish. I think I played Makeup a demo, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty, in this, this is neat. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. And make them look less like me's so they're not quite as unsettling. <laughs> In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with Maybe. allies to strengthen bonds. Maybe. I could see it being a really funny stream. This can game give you too. an advantage during battle. If your relationship sour though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Oh my god. Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or two, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces I think horses in the lighthearted new, romp right? Metopia. Coming know. to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Pre orders begin today on Maybe. Nintendo eShop. If you're gonna ask a whopping 60 bucks for it again, then sorry, no, but. Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. That took long enough. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game like as furniture coins. items. So Actually, place them however like, and wherever you'd like. A lot of those items, they look pretty slick. It's a little bit better than, I, I guess, place just the pipes. nature of New Horizons. Can you use the warp pipes? That's sick. That's sick. You can use them to That's travel really between cool. locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? I, um... Is that a Mario and Rabbids reference? A free update Pizza for the game launches February selfies. 25th. Oh. Uh, After downloading it's it... It's a lot cooler than they were in previous Animal Crossing games, where it was just stuff you could put in your house. The fact that, and that just New Horizons Keep an eye on the in general Animal Crossing helps Twitter with that, for the latest where information. you can just kind of put everything wherever you want. You can be a lot more creative with it. I've been kind of meaning to get back into Animal Crossing. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Not saying that that's going to be the thing that pushes me back to it. How but... was that? These collaboration items will be released on, as part uh, of the Super Mario like Brothers 35th like anniversary left. events. Please wait a Maybe. bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, 
Last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoyed that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. Hmm, games. Oh, this is... is this Bravely Default? I think. No. Oh, is this like Octopath 2? He leaves us no recourse! Swords! Yeah. Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burned is corpses. Or is it just the same studio? No other must decide how we proceed. Looks more like a tactics game. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. I think. Triang Project Triangle Strategy? You guys gotta come up with better project names because you know that that's gonna stick and you're not gonna be able to change it later. <laughs> limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great It looks, uh, it looks more interesting than... Iron War. Clever. Though the hostilities uh, ceased with an It looks more interesting than Octopath ever the flames did to me, of to war be honest. I, Octopath never really again. captivated me. All that remains. Caught in really good music. It's super good music. The sprite works better in this, honestly. From um, I didn't really like the... The small the character sprite work in Octopath. The path I thought was like not great, um, especially because the character designs are so nice and detailed, and you never really got to see them when they're these little tiny sprites. Um, the bosses look cool, but I feel like the sprite works better in this. Um, this I might look into. Such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is I hope this does well, because I'd like to see just more tactical but also RPGs a powerful in general blow out, from the out there in the world. Behind I feel the like there's not a lot. Um, and most of them are super niche. Charge into an enemy to send them flying it's into a, position uh, for a follow-up attack. Oh, me. It's a Link It's a thing where like first casting ice magic on the flames to create Fire Emblem super popular now, right? And I wish that that magic. would lead to more people looking into other tactical RPGs. I wish that was a thing in, in gaming more, where like someone discovers a game and they're like, I really like this, I should check out games like this. Because there are other games out there the like that. You will be faced with a lot of people don't know, which is frustrating. In a variety of situations. Among Us is a similar situation. There are games that Utility, like that that exist. Morality, and it's like, liberty. it'd be nice to see those get some more attention too, but people are too busy just latching conviction. onto Among Us and riding it to death. Which is kind of unfortunate. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we? Relinquish Prince but I know, like, there's a lot of people that really like Final Critical Fantasy decisions tactics, that may examples, determine the so I feel like this is very... Settled by vote on the scales of conviction. If you were one of those people the saying, I wish they'd make another Final Fantasy Tactics, this is kind of, this is for you. Calls. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy. You gotta start like tactical RPG. Octopath Traveler was a was a working title too, wasn't it? And then they just were like, well, people know it as that now, so we can't change it. After this presentation, a demo version of this game oh. will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. You don't and say. In the future, we'll conduct a survey. To I like that they do that feedback. now. Like, we look forward to hearing your responses. It's on so the demo. it's it's kind of weird because 
some of the studios that Please Square Enix owns to future updates on this brand new love to do RPG that. They love to put demos Square out and say, hey, tell us what okay, you think so we can actually like make this better. But like Square Enix's like main studio Calling is just like, do you have what it takes? we made Final Fantasy VII, we know better. We don't care what you think, like we know best. That's it. Be a little bit more humble. This is what I'm getting at. Was that it? <laughs> Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, okay. free-to-play online game set nah. between episodes six and seven. Clash in this third-person shooter. I heard competitive, Switch, competitive first-person shooter. Nah, sorry. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. <laughs> do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews. Take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. What Chicken am I watching? War axe, <clears throat> misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work? Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown? I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> and sprite work is delightful it's too. Gorgon want new weapon. Knockout city. I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Is this is dodgeball. It's sad that all this presentation they put into, like, those three very distinct styles and the contrast between them isn't even a part of the game. Like, that, that kind of stinks. Lost it! Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers! Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max! This is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show! Pass to me! Like, it's an interesting design choice, but, like, I kind of wish that was part of the game, you know? Like, you know? The whole crossover element is, like, was immediately eye-catching. So it's like... The fight for survival starts now. It look- it looks like, um... Cause you're all going to play a little game of fate. Ninjala except From dodgeball. the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. This looks kind of slick. Sorry to scare you all, but the game is canceled. The game is suddenly called off. I like the art style. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in What's World's some? End Club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch. May 28th. I wonder if that's the artist that does Pokemon, Sugimori. It looks the kind of like of his Olympus style. With the physical release <laughs> of Hades. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler I need and to recipient play of multiple Game too. of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. Oh, that's neat. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed I often, by Darren Korb. I often have an issue with Super physical releases, like especially for indie games, because they're usually the second is a -page much more expensive. Compendium, and it doesn't portraits feel of like vibrant you get anything gods, out of it. Ghosts and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. 
Escape the Underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. I think I would probably still just get the digital version, but I, I need to... Three need deadly to action games, games, one masterful collection. Is it Ninja Gaiden? Ninja Gaiden yeah. Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I've never played a Ninja Gaiden. You are the legendary I ninja played the Ryu original Hayabusa, on fighting against NES a great online. evil with battle skills that are second For like to an none. hour. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with a different set ones. of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Maybe? I don't know, I'm kind of interested. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors. This is something Age of I wanted Calamity. to see. What we got? I was thinking it was just about time for them to announce if they're actually going to do anything else with this or not. I really liked Age of Calamity. I'm Puro and Robbie now, I'm imagining. And probably, uh, Suga. Well, they didn't tell us basically anything at all there. <laughs> There's even more okay, coming to, read to up Nintendo about that Switch. <laughs> Bravely Default 2 is almost here. I should get Four this. Heroes of Light really soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious. I'm glad they're doing DLC for Hyrule Warriors at all. Veterans I, I guess and I newcomers still point to that the out. They, can they basically told us nothing there except we're doing DLC, which is kind of. I wish it was a little bit more. Presentation. But the game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also. I didn't play the second demo. Worth pointing out, I played the first the one when they were like, in the legendary "Hey, give us your input." Comes to life. As the Brave I didn't play Knight the Arthur, second one because I was already kind of sold by spells that. and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages. I've never played a Ghost Demon of Goblins Realm. either. Local co-op play is also like available seriously. for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters: Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghost and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now. I don't know if I love the art style Asia. actually. I'm not a big fan of the, like, tween eight art style anymore. Eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. I don't really know. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay really features, know what this is either. exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist I think Celis. I vaguely Saga heard of Saga. Is an adventure not to be missed. <laughs> the game launches April 15th. Doesn't look as nice as that mana title. Apex they Legends earlier. is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play Oh yeah, did we know about this? I think they announced this, right? Contenders named Legends, Strategic Combat, I don't cross-platform play. Again, I'm not super into competitive all players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new all legendary anymore, Pathfinder but skin. And I'm glad that it's there for the people. That like it. I, I know people are pretty Plus, into Apex, for the first 2 weeks so. after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you oh, in today's more. Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with I'm still, I'm still Next, wired directly please in. Please take a look just, at just, this. Just keep it coming. And this is, uh, something I was concerned about was, uh, Hello there. snappiness. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer not of the intended. Legend of Zelda series. Um... Uh, I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought the there might be news about the sequel on, uh, to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the game. Franchise. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Wow, really? We apologize. 
a lot of people are going to be upset about that. Smoothly, and we should be able to I could see a lot of people that being the only thing they take away now, from this presentation. We'll have to ask you to wait no Breath of the Wild 2 it was terrible, because people are like that close-minded about While you're all waiting, Not close-minded, single, this like one track will be coming to Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Please Ooh, take like something look. else. Top down. Make it a top down game, please. Skyward Sword. They said they wouldn't do it. You guys are liars. <laughs> as uh, as my buddy called it this morning, Skyward Sword. We fixed it edition. You know what? I would get this again. I really like Skyward Sword. I really do. What was I saying? Part of my concern with this presentation is, is... I don't like it when the presentations linger on something for like 20 minutes straight. I like it when they're nice and snappy and they just kind of... What you've just it's just a barrage of, of information. And this direct has this been back, so I consider it, I consider it good. And now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. I think they the lingered on sword featured a control scheme triangle strategy for a little too long, as a sword, just a smidge too as a long. Shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link it's the, swing his it's, sword. It's in the, game. the E3 presentation all over. Again. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. So why did they say that this like wasn't going you can to perform be doing other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow? These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. Not that I ever believed but them. we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign Excellent. different gameplay elements to different buttons, Excellent. we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Interesting. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword down. Yeah, I swear they said like to swing to the a right a year ago that the they left, didn't think Skyward Sword on Switch would be possible. Just tilt the due stick to the in the respective direction. And it's like, why exactly did you think? Maybe, maybe this was it. Maybe it was because of handheld Here's controls. something else we've been working. And they were like, well, we specially designed oh, Joy-Con cool. controllers. I'm not gonna lie. The right Joy-Con um, controller is themed after yeah, the, Master the Master Sword, sword while the left the features a Hylian shield motif. The Legend of That's Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, as the game maybe it was just that they were trying to figure out the handheld controls. The Legend controls. of Zelda timeline details the they knew that they couldn't release it the with required Joy-Con controls when the Switch Lite we is a thing on the market, the which makes sense. Game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. I would l maybe. The Legend of Zelda maybe. Skyward Sword HD launches July sixteenth. What makes me hesitate is it's, Direct, is it's gonna be sixty dollars again, e and it's like and the specially designed Joy-Con controller. I'm a little over release date at your local retail. Nintendo re-releasing games for this, sixty. But the Legend of Zelda like, Skyward Sword was the last original console honest, game. I love Nintendo. I love what they do. Game, That's one thing that like the as the years go on, I'm However, starting to get a little sick many of. Features and innovations re-releasing games that are in this case a decade old, and it's probably still gonna be sixty dollars. is kind of insane now the yes they're they're making some changes walls with vines or rams. so it's not like they just the ported it collecting items didn't change here. anything and they called it a day I like hope they those of you who they had to the put some work in the they did give but this game a try as well why why would you say that people who played who like breath of the wild are gonna fucking hate this game <laughs> like you know that please look forward you to know that zelda skyward sword hd don't even kid yourself but like forty dollars, I'd be well, like, yeah, I'm all what in. What did you think? The Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. But sixty. It includes intuitive motion controls. I am assuming it's going to be sixty. To be fair, but I feel like I have a good reason to believe that. It okay. Would be 60. The next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. This is the one I think I know about. Is this also Smash Brothers? Not actual gameplay footage, is such a... Yeah. 
Yeah, when I was setting up. When I, when I was setting up and I mentioned the, the thing popping up that had recommended videos, there was a Splatoon 3 thumbnail, and I was like, Jesus, YouTube, thanks. Like... <laughs> Is that a fucking bow? Hold on, I didn't, I'm, I'm not paying attention. We have a little sa a little salmon egg, really? I want to know more with the bow, dude. Give me more weapons. That's what I want to see. I, I like the complete. Let's fuck the Eiffel Tower, dude. I like the complete change in atmosphere. It's cool. It's very, very different. I don't know if I'm excited about this or not, to be honest. I still do really like Splatoon as a franchise. And I want to be excited about it. I think streaming it kind of st stained my experience there. I, I think the community that... I think the Splatoon community that frequents streams isn't necessarily the most... Healing thing in the world. And I got real sick of it after playing Splatoon 2 for too long. So I just don't know if I care. I want to! But I'm kind of looking at this and thinking, do I even want to get a Splatoon? Do I even want to get back into that? I like the... Are those like coffee makers or something? I like the bow. New weapon types is gonna be like... There's a lot of things that they need to do to make me say, yes, I'm in. Put the ink suit go back. I don't know if that's a thing we needed. I'll have to wait to see more about it. To determine if... Like, yeah, that looks cool. If there's an expanded, like, co-op experience... I think what I'll be just into seen it. Is the latest installment in the I'm talking series, expanded co-op to the point where that you can just play that if you want to. So it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned. I liked Salmon Run, but I thought it was a little flawed, and it was only open during certain Today, hours, so you sometimes you just couldn't to play Nintendo it Switch. if you wanted to, which kind of sucked. A variety of games are in development, and the whole competitive scene, I'm just and we not look really forward to sharing more anymore. news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. I'd say overall that was a very good, a very good presentation. I think a lot of people are going to come away from this presentation saying. No Breath of the Wild 2, this sucked. But I think there was a lot of good stuff otherwise. Even as someone who's not particularly excited for Breath of the Wild 2, I was fairly certain we were going to see it. I was I was expecting them to do like a 10 minute retrospective on the Zelda franchise, like showing every single game in order, leading up to a like full, real Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Very surprised that they didn't do that, but it's a shoe in for th for E3. If they actually do an E3, which I think they're talking about doing a digital only E3 this year, which which makes sense. If they do that, that's going to be their big presentation at E3. Is it's going to be a big, a big Breath of the Wild two is going to be the centerpiece of that of that show, I believe. Otherwise, there was enough good stuff here that I feel like I have a hard time picking out what really left its impact on me. Um, for those that might be new to the channel, we, we do stream nearly every night. I, I consistently take Saturday nights off. I usually take Wednesday nights off. Tonight is a Wednesday, so I was off tonight, actually. Um, I'll probably talk about a lot of this stuff on stream. So if you want to get more in-depth uh, answers from me and it just conversation in general about what we saw in this direct i'd recommend doing it there um 
Oddly, I think uh, Mario Golf was a big one. I think that one's pretty overdue. Uh, as I said, I've never really been into Mario Golf that much, but part of my issue with Mario Tennis is to really get the full experience out of that, you basically have to be willing to play competitive online. And I'm not much for competitive online anything. So, golf sounds appealing because you can have that competitive online without directly interfering with each other. It's more of like a score attack mode. And I feel like as I'm getting older and less interested in... in in directly competitive games that something like that might appeal to me more than it once did. So that one really stood out to me. Um, I think the Xenoblade characters for Smash was a, was a pretty good pick. I think that's fun. I think a lot of people are going to complain about it, but people are going to... We're at a point... The Smash community is so toxic that people are going to complain about no matter what, no matter what the character is. People complained about Sephiroth, for fuck's sake. So, people are going to complain no matter what. Maybe I shouldn't concern myself with the fact that they're going to complain about it. I think that was a cool pick. If, uh, if I uh, get to a point where I want to play Smash Brothers again, and uh, I buy the second season pass, I would try those characters out. Like, I'd be like, yeah, let's see how, what they can do. Like, I, I think that was, a, was an interesting pick. Um, and it's not third party. Which I'm into. I'm a, little, I'm a little tired of third parties. Even though I can think of a couple third parties off the top of my head that I'd still like to see. Uh, Monster Hunter, Shantae, Tails. There's still some stuff that from third parties that I'm like, yeah, this would be super cool to see. But, like, it started becoming such a let's just get every third party imaginable in there that I'm like, I just don't care anymore. Like, it's just not exciting. It's too predictable. Um, so I'm excited to see something that's not that. Um, on the Monster Hunter side of things, Rise is looking super good. Um, I was already complete. Th that trailer didn't really sell me any more than I was already sold. Well, I'm already very sold on that game, so they didn't. You know what they didn't show us was Pokemon Snap. That was kind of odd. I'm looking forward to that too. Um, maybe Fall Guys on Switch will get me back into Fall Guys. That would be pretty nice. Maybe. They really need to get cross-play going, though, to be honest. I'm trying to think about what else we saw that I can comment on and be like, oh yeah, this was super cool. Overall, it was a good presentation, I think. I don't think there was anything where I'm like, I'm bored. Like I said, the the uh, triangle strategy, that presentation went a smidge too long. Like, it reached a point where they were still talking about it, and I was like, you guys are still talking about this? Like, it, it looks cool but i think with these presentations it's really important for them to keep it snappy and keep it moving because you have to keep in mind that not every game is going to appeal to every person so you want to keep it moving and you want to think okay if someone doesn't like this we don't want them to get bored and tune out we got to keep it moving and move on to the next thing that might might excite them more than this did um, Splatoon 3, I'm cautiously optimistic about. Um, I'd like to be interested. We'll see if they'll actually do enough to make me interested, is what that comes down to. I actually wouldn't mind getting Skyward Sword again. Um, as I said, it's gonna be $60, which I don't care for. Um, I do really like Skyward Sword. I like that they went to the effort of putting in like traditional button controls to make it a little bit more playable. You can still have the if you do, if you didn't mind the motion controls, which I actually didn't mind them that much. You still have that experience. Otherwise, you can just go with buttons. You can just erase it entirely. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else worth mentioning that i'm like yeah i gotta get this out there really quick overall like i said good 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 presentation i don't think there was anything in here where i was like that was just who cares i think that last sizzle reel they did didn't really have anything in it that caught my eye like but i might just not i might just be not remembering something but but anyway that puts up the video at just about an hour so we're gonna get the hell out of here um if anyone is still watching at this point in the video it's highly appreciated um i hope you, you enjoyed the direct i hope you enjoyed the reaction um I'll, I'll i don't know when the next 
piece of video content's gonna come out. I've been trying to work on that for a while, but I just haven't gotten really sunk my teeth into it yet. But as I said, we do stream like at least five nights a week. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.